Today we are talking about branding, visual branding, and all of the aspects that fall underneath that magical unknown word of branding. So before we get into all of the important pieces of branding, I want to first define the word. So branding is everything from the way you talk on your website or to your clients. It's the way you talk about your values. It's your mission statement. And then we get into visual branding and we talk about design styles that look consistent across the board. If you go to one of our real estate clients, one of our construction clients, their piece is gonna look very different than one of our education clients or one of our media clients who we're creating for very different audiences. And developing that visual style is essential before you really get into anything else. And we've talked about that with social platforms. You wanna make sure that your visual branding looks consistent all across the way. And if you don't do this first step of creating and developing that brand, then it's going to be really, really difficult to actually put that together and to grow on those platforms. So the first reason that visual branding is so important is because it captures attention. If we ignore the fact that content itself drives people to your website, we skip over that, you've got 10 to 20 seconds when somebody hits your platform, whether that's your profile on TikTok or Instagram, or whether that's your website itself, you've got 10 to 20 seconds to grab someone's attention and hold them there. So if your visual branding isn't consistent and it doesn't feel true, then people are going to leave and you're going to lose them. You've got 10 to 20 seconds, so you've got to make sure that visual branding is strong or you're going to lose them. In episode 17, we talked about building brand trust, specifically for Gen Z and millennials. And one of the big pieces of that was making sure that your branding is consistent. You see, if people go on from one platform to your website or from one platform to another platform, or they see a flyer that you have and then they go onto your website and they feel like different things, you're gonna lose a subconscious trust with that client. And it's super important to have your branding consistent or you are going to lose the trust of the people who you're trying to bring in. And that doesn't just go for visuals, that includes the way you speak about things. If you have a jokey, crass copywriting style that you're using, and then you switch over to something much more professional on your website, it's gonna feel wrong. People are gonna be like, who are these people? And what does this brand actually mean? What do they represent? How do they talk to you? You're losing brand trust. So this consistency is a huge, huge piece to why doing this visual branding and branding in general is so essential. Being able to have a consistent brand means being able to effectively communicate to your brand. And like I just said, it's almost a reflection of the brand's personality. And if you don't have a clear way that you communicate, a clear style that you communicate, then it's gonna be really difficult um, whether you're doing outbound sales or whether you are doing internal marketing or whether you're talking to your staff. Like having this type of branding is so essential because you're not gonna be able to effectively communicate without it. The last piece that makes visual branding and branding so essential is to allow you to differentiate yourself from everyone else. Think about the best Instagram account or LinkedIn account or TikTok account that you've ever followed. Before you even see the little profile picture or whatever their tag says, oftentimes you know who's posting it. And that's visual branding. That's good messaging. That's good developed brand is being able to look and see, oh, this is absolutely lifestyled media because it looks like lifestyled media or it sounds like lifestyled media. Have you ever heard that about a great brand? Oh, this feels like Nike. Oh, this feels like X brand. This feels like this brand. This feels like that brand. And that is what visual branding is. That's what allows you to really, really build a well-developed brand name, brand recognition, and take that first step in helping people get in and buy your product or become a client. Until next time, this has been New Gen Marketing.